This is a short tutorial on how to make a wireless presentation from one of the Samsung slates using VNC and a MacBook. The first step is to install VNC server software on the Samsung slate. To do this you need to open up a web browser and go to www realvnc.com and that page you need to download the VNC software and because we've got Windows running on the slate we download VNC for Windows and you need to read and accept the terms and conditions and that software is going to download. While that's happening uh, you can start applying for the license so there are different licensing options but to just do the basic you can use the free one so you need to just type in your name and email address and choose a country and I'd actually recommend you do this after you've installed that downloaded software because then it applies the license directly the free version of VNC doesn't support encryption but you can set it up with a password when you install it and I'd recommend you do that if you're trying to use another Windows machine connected to the projector, so in this case we use a MacBook, but if you want to do it with Windows, you need to install a client on that machine. So in this case, we're going to use a MacBook, so we just need to start that server software which we've downloaded and installed and licensed and connect it to the MacBook. So once we start up VNC server, you'll get a screen like this, and you need to note down that IP address. So there's our MacBook which we've got on the same Wi-Fi network as the Slate and we just go on the Go menu and connect to server and type in VNC colon double backslash and then that IP address and click to connect. So you'll be warned that it's not encrypted. We continue and just enter the password that we used when we set up VNC server on the slate. And that's it. You click to connect and the application running on the MacBook is called screen sharing, which is a native application. You don't need to download anything extra to the MacBook. And you can see that already what's happening on the slate is mirrored across to the MacBook. Depending on the network there might be a bit of uh, latency, but uh, generally, especially on EdgeRM, I found it to be pretty good. So if we just shut down some warning messages, we can launch an application either from the slate or you can use the mouse on the MacBook. I'm launching it here from the slate using the stylus. And this is a lecture that I gave this morning. You might have to cancel some warnings from uh, VNC. We can switch to full screen on the slate and it goes to full screen within screen sharing on the MacBook. But then on the MacBook, we just need to make that application full screen as well. And if that was connected to the projector, which is not here in my office, but I have done it in the lecture theatre, then what you see up on the big screen is exactly what's on both displays here. So I've got both displays here in the presentation you can see that you can do all the usual things that you do during your uh, lectures with a tablet computer or with the slates. You can annotate things, you can use the eraser. Uh, basically, it's, it's all good. When you're finished your lecture, you can just shut everything down, but I would recommend that, at least from the MacBook, that you stop the VNC connection. So you just go to the top menu for connection and click Stop Connection. And if you want, you can also shut down VNC server on the slate, which is probably for security reasons a good thing to do.